everyone. Thanks for coming or for coming back. My name is Jillian, also known as Jillian Jizz, and today I've got for you my recipe for chocolate fudge. So start by gathering all of your ingredients, and as always, all the measurements are listed down below, so check that out if you're planning on making this. So we're going to start with a medium-sized saucepan, and in it you're going to combine your sugar, cream, corn syrup, salt, and water. When I'm using something like corn syrup, I like to measure that directly into the pot or bowl that I'm using because if you put it into another bowl and you have to scrape it out, you're going to end up leaving most of it behind because it is so sticky. So when you've got all your things in your pot, go ahead and put it on the stove over medium high heat. You're going to let this heat up until all of your sugar is dissolved. So when you poke around in there with your spoon or your spatula, you shouldn't feel any little sugar granules and if you can then you can go ahead and carefully touch the mixture and rub it between a couple fingers and you shouldn't feel any little sugar grains in there so after all the sugar is melted you're going to go ahead and add your chocolate and stir just until that is melted after your chocolate has melted completely you are going to stop stirring altogether, and you're just going to use your candy thermometer and monitor your chocolate mixture and just watch until it gets to 238 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it is at this temperature, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take it off the heat and pour it all into a heat proof bowl. Now you're not going to scrape anything off the bottom of the pan here. I'm sorry, you're just going to have to leave it. You can still eat it, but don't add it to your mixture in your bowl because you risk the chance of getting little crystallized sugar bits in there and you'll end up with a grainy fudge instead of a smooth creamy fudge. Take your butter, I like to break it up and just put little dots on top of the fudge and don't have to mix this in at the point, this point, just leave it on top and let it melt. And then you're going to go ahead and let everything cool in the bowl for about 30 or 45 minutes. I like to cool it a little bit enough that I can sort of touch the outside of the bowl without it like burning my hand. At this point you're gonna go ahead and you're going to add your vanilla. We didn't add this earlier because if it was too hot then the vanilla would just all evaporate off. Now you're gonna go ahead and take your beater and you're going to beat this. Start on low because the butter might fly everywhere but then you can go ahead and crank it up to high and just beat it for three or four minutes. You want it to get a little bit less shiny it'll get a little bit lighter in color and that's just helping to cool it down as well as add just a little bit of air so that you get a nice light fudge after this you're going to go ahead and pour it out into whatever you like for a mold i'm just using a little loaf pan but any sort of small dish or tin works just fine and now you're going to let it cool once it's all nice and hardened and room temperature, you can come back and you can slice it or cut it however you like. And that's it. That is your fudge recipe. Uh, I hope you make this and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.